Oh, hi, Pika. You're in the shot now. Just licking yourself. Oh, what's up, guys? My name is Sean, and welcome to a tutorial on how to set up your Elgato HD60 for next gen consoles. Alright, for this video, we're going to be setting it up for the Xbox One right here. It's face backwards because that's kind of essential to the sake of the video. So, this is your Elgato. Hopefully, if, this, if your Elgato doesn't look like this, then you're probably watching the wrong video. Um, sorry. See you later. But should have gotten a short HDMI cord and long ass micro USB cord. Pika, are you having fun with the cords? Right here. Pika. First of all, you've got three little plugs in the scene. There's two right there, as you can see. There's a micro USB and an HDMI cord right there. And there's one HDMI on the back right there. So what you're gonna do with these is you're gonna take your HDMI that's connecting your Xbox to your TV right here. The camera's not angled up enough for me to put my hand on the top of here. You're gonna take the USB that's plugged into the back of the TV, pull it out, the side with the uh, micro USB port, that's where the cord from the Xbox to the Elgato goes. Right there, you see that? And then you're gonna take your little HDMI cord that they provide you, you're gonna plug that one in to this right here, which is the uh, side with only one plug, that's for the HDMI out, and then you're going to plug that in to the monitor where uh, the Xbox was plugged in, or PS4, or Wii U, or PC, because this works on PC too if your PC has HDMI plugs. There we go. You'll notice that it's still not displaying the image yet. That's because we have this long ass micro USB cord, which will plug in to the USB port where the uh, Xbox goes to the Elgato. Right next to that, you're going to plug that in right there. And then you're going to take this long ass USB port and you're going to plug it into your computer or laptop into a USB port. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to see that right and oh, right there. So it goes beep it about. This thing's lighting up. I don't know if you saw that. That means that it is all connected. And there we go. This thing is uh, all uh, turned on, but this probably won't happen immediately because there's another step that you have to do that is essential to your success. So now you can put the H Elgato aside and the TV and Xbox aside. Uh, why did that turn off? It's freaking out. Don't worry about that. Uh, don't look at my password. Don't do it. Come on, dude. Hi, Pika. How you doing, buddy? All right, now. There's a link in the description and like right here on the screen, right there above my hand. Click on that link if you haven't already um, installed the stuff onto your computer. There's a uh, part right here, which you can see on your screen, that says Download Capture 3.0. That's for a 64-bit system, and 32-bit systems is labeled right there. If you have a 32-bit system, then uh, click that one. Once you've installed it and done all the little button things, it's not complicated to install at all. It pretty much does it all itself. You might have to like agree to something and maybe press like a finish button. There's this little icon that pops up on your desktop if you put it there. It just looks like the Elgato logo, which, uh, it looks like that. Oh, jeez. It looks like this little thing right here. Oh, there goes Pika. The software will open. Looks like this. Alright, so, uh, I guess this little thing right here just wasn't plugged in all the way. Maximize this. You can do settings with this. You can put a little face cam up. See, it's right there. Hey, guys, what's up? I don't know if you can see this. It's right there. I might be blocking the camera's view of it. Yeah, it's right there. It doesn't matter. There's a ton of little stuff you can do. Whoa, I did something weird. Uh, okay. And one thing that I would like to point out real quickly that really annoyed me at the start of uh, kind of recording with this thing is that this little mute button right here is like really important. I'll put it up on the screen as a screenshot. But this little mute button, make sure you have it on mute or else this happens. What's up, guys? 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 None of that. Nope, just press the mute button. You can see my audio is still recording, and it's very loud as well. Um, also, this automatically reduces other audio tracks. is very, very good. All you have to do to record is just press record. It'll do its stuff. To find your clips, just go over to uh, the little edit tab. And you can see that there's some spooky house of jump scares or whatever there. Uh, don't expect that in the future, because it kind of sucked. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to get it onto your computer, you can just press file mp4. And that's Basically all you gotta know, um, or you can upload raw footage to YouTube, but not recommended. Hopefully you have Premiere or something else, Final Cut, I don't know. I have Premiere. If this video helped you guys, oh my god, leaning, laying on the Xbox. If this video helped you guys, then uh, leave a like and subscribe. Oh god, 
It's all gone bad. My name's Sean. I'll see you guys later. Oh god. Oh, that actually hurt. Oh, that actually hurt. Get your act together, man. Come on. Let's go. Jesus Christ, dude. Come on. Amateurs, jeez. Ugh. Ugh.